Tommy, well, how, what, is that a perfect start to the season? No, I'm not, I'm not happy that we've conceded two goals with managers always with to say that. Jordy is absolutely human up there because I just think we took a foot off the tiny pedal for a couple of seconds in each half and at this level you get punished, you know, that, that's happened. But listen, we've had a really progressive, in my opinion, progressive um, six weeks on the training ground. We've created an identity within the group. We know what we want to do. The players know what we want them to do. Um, and hopefully, I think uh, the, the biggest thing for me is I hope the crowd go home over the moon that we've won, obviously. But but the performance was good to watch. Good, good sides. We want to pass the ball. They'll not all be like that. There'll be battles. There'll be scraps, which I think we've got the bodies for as well. Um, but yeah, the scripts go hitting the post and the ball, whatever it was, within a minute and a half of the start because we a pattern of football we've practiced for six weeks is brilliant and um, I'm delighted. I'm delighted all three of the starting strikers scored and I'm really really pleased with Jack Barnes unselfishly put a ball on a plate for his mate to score the was it the second or the third comp. But but it yeah his, his first day is go it's it's three points on the board. I wanted to be off zero. Um, well, you know, you, we've, we've spoken a lot, haven't we, about how there'd be a bit of a headache for selection, there'd be a few unhappy players with that. But we saw three players come off the bench today and, and, and really make an impression too. Absolutely. I did say that. that you know, we didn't know what, how the goal scored and the timings were going to go. I did feel we were going to score goals, but I also knew they carried a decent goal threat. Um, so I had I had the nine players who didn't start the game in my office, and I had a brief, brief chat, and I, don't, I won't always do that, but I said, look, I'm not even going to name the team, I was going to tell you guys, you're not going to start, but you have a role to play. If someone's picked in your role, go in there and you tell them all the best because they do the same when it comes off the pitch for you. I wanted that 11 to set it up and then the, the, the three who are going to come on. Sometimes the knocks and the niggles that we picked up change my tactical you know, thinking and the, the substitutions I may well have done. Um, but the lads have got to understand that it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Um, and like I said, we, we got off the mark and we're out of the block, so I'm, I'm delighted to be able to think. Well, can you give us a bit of an update on those um, niggles and knocks? Because mm -hmm. we saw Theo have to come off, we saw um, Stu have to come off as well. They were, both, they were both precautionary. I mean, Theo's old enough and daft enough to know me and um, that if he was to carry on and it go really pear shaped and he's missing six weeks, then I'll not be a happy chappy. Whereas Stu's took a, a severe whack to the actual knee, so he hasn't twisted anything, there's no cut, there's nothing we're worried about internally. They're both, hopefully, um, with a couple of days you know, off their feet and um, return on Monday. Theo maybe takes a couple of days longer than Stu, but um, we've got to look after the player said. One thing I will say is, you, you just remember that, we've, we've played almost 110 more 110 minutes we played. I mean, we prepared these lads for 1985 and all of a sudden we're getting 10 minutes. We knew it was going to be different this season, we were told that, but it, it's a massive difference. It's a huge difference. You go on a pitch now at 75, 80 minutes, you can play off now. I mean, that is, that's a weird thought, that. And I'm telling you now, at this level, there's going to be certain teams who have groups that will fatigue earlier, therefore get injured a hell of a lot more. Who's going to pay for that? Well, yeah. yeah. And only three subs you can use as well, isn't it? It's just, wait, listen, I think I, I genuinely understand why we're trying to change the image of the game. I do, but they need the right people in charge and making the right decisions. The people who I believe are in charge of them situations at this moment in time aren't quite up to speed with what's happening on the football pitch. Uh, um, in more positive news, Lawrence scoring twice <laughs> could have had maybe four or five with some absolute thunderbolts. Yeah, yeah I, listen, I thought all, all three lads who started the game in the four areas. Um, the goal threat, they all look like they played together before, which they have, and then when Kwame comes on, it, it gives us a different dimension. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to pick any one of them out because, like I said, they've all got off the mark today, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. Because, listen, forwards will judge themselves on, on scoring a goal or two or whatever they are. I don't. I, I look at the overall contribution and I thought, out of possession against a very good possession based side, I thought we kept them in arm's length a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, they got through us a few times because that's what they do, they're a good side. Um, but in general, I thought our shape, our set up, you know, our pre-game information we give to the lads, thankfully to the people behind me, it's been excellent.